promise you, Christ Almighty, try working for you for a living. The talking, 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 Jesus Christ, won't he ever shut up titanic self-absorption of the man? Stand there, trying to look so deep when you're nothing but a solipsistic bully with your grandiose self-importance and lectures and arias. And let's just fucking look at the canvas for another few weeks. Let's not paint. Let's just fucking look. And the pretension, Jesus Christ, the pretension. Never in the history of art has anyone ever tried to be so significant. You know, not everything has to be so goddamn important all the time. Not every painting has to rip your guts off or expose your soul. Sometimes you just want a fucking still life or, or soup cat or landscape or comic book. Which you might learn if you actually bought to leave your medically sealed studio of yours with all the windows closed and no natural light. Because even natural light isn't good enough for you. But then nothing is ever good enough for you. Not even the people who buy your pictures. Museums are nothing but mausoleums. Galleries are run by pimps and swindlers and art collectors are nothing but shallow social climbers. So who is good enough to own the great Mark Rothko's art? Who is even good enough to see the art? That's it, isn't it? Say you spend your life in search of real human beings, people who can look at your art with compassion, but in your heart, you no longer believe that those people exist. So you lose faith. So you lose I don't think you'd recognize a real human being if you were standing right 